Why are you crying now? You better not jump off. Stay on. Oh my god, what are you doing? A little dog right here is crying for no reason. I'm just trying to give him a little ride to the mailbox. Pick up a little package we got for Lexi over here. And not working with me right now. So sadly, Axel. I think you gotta go inside. Ooh. What could that be, guys? What could that be? Gonna be installing this uh, controller for Excel, like like your acceleration. Uh, you can control how fast your acceleration goes. Right now, I'm gonna be putting it on my car, which is a uh, 06 Lexus IS250. It's not the fastest thing in the world. So hopefully, we can change the acceleration on it today. So it came with two things. So you have the controller, and then you have the harness. So the harness for a specific vehicle, which mine's the 06 through 12, I think, and that'll look like this this little wire you have your controller which they give you this is the controller they give you this little switch right here which i love buttons and this thing lights up so it's going to look like a little cockpit in there um so this will change between i think it's like blue no it's like i think it's like purple green red um i have to look more into all the colors but the red's more like the high throttle and then green's like eco, I think it is. Looks like a double-sided tape and zip ties. Zip ties, we'll get to that in just a moment. And then you have gray wire, which is, this is for the reverse. So whenever you put it in reverse, it won't be like in high throttle and as sensitive when you go in reverse, but we don't need to use this. Um, we're not gonna really care. So this was supposed to go into that reverse. We're gonna tape this up with uh, electrical tape so no water gets in there, because uh, that would suck. And then, it's pretty, it's pretty simple guys. This harness, you plug it into the box right here. So that plugs into there. And then, you have this little, little baby plug in. And that'll plug right into there. And then this, I'm gonna show you where we're probably gonna mount this. Oh, before we plug in the harness or unplug anything down there, you wanna let your car sit 15 minutes completely off. They just recommend not to have anything on. Um, within 15 minutes of you installing this or unplugging stuff. The only reason this install might be a little bit longer than it should be is because that harness, uh, that clip is gonna be, it's gonna take a while to take off, maybe like 10 minutes. I mean, that's what they're telling me. So we'll, we'll see, it might, might take sooner than 10 minutes. Don't mind all those wires. The reason why I have all those wires I have lights in the car and my radar is running through that. I'm seeing a lot of dirt that I should probably clean out. So I'm just gonna clean that up real fast and then I'll show you all the harness um, where that plugs in. I see that wire right there, that green one. So that was connected to the pedal, the, uh, the gas pedal. Uh, just push the little pin down. Took it off. We just need to remove this right here by pressing that little button down. Be careful not to bend these things right there. All right, so I managed to clip it in here. So I clipped the male one, the one with the pins in here, and this one right here. And then the one that was the female, we clipped, clipped it back into the place that the OEM was in. Uh, that just clicked right in. You'll hear the click whenever you put it in, right? This 
from the harness will connect to the controller. We'll connect to this right here. We just need to hide this. I'm probably going to hide it in here with all this stuff. Probably put it right there. It's a, almost a perfect fit. And the wire can just, I'll probably drill a little hole right here so that wire can go back there. And tuck, per, tuck, tuck pretty nicely too. That piece out, which went right there. And look what we have here. And it's pretty, it looks pretty sick. Um, I just need to glue it down in there so it stays. Let's run this wire to the harness. Let's hide the harness in here as well. It'll be all finalized to make it look nice. So it might be done in like 20 minutes. All right, so I ran this through there. I did zip tie those uh, connections down there next to the throttle as well. And then I just have to clip this thing in there. Let's try to find a place to hide this. I got that electrical tape down there. Yeah, this is for my interior lights. So yeah, it's 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 a mess. I should probably clean that up right now too. <laughs> I did it all up, zip tied the wires so that it's not uh, too uh, messy in there. And there's almost the final product. Uh, it's not lighting up yet. I haven't turned the car on. I still got to tidy up the wires down there. Put those screws that I had. Put those back on there back in the little screw holes and then I put this back on kind of blends in pretty cool pretty cool turn her on there it goes yes it is blinking for me too not just for y'all So it wasn't working, it was blinking. I had to read the instructions again, guys. I don't know, I don't know what you call it. You have to just make sure, like it has to know that it's kind of connected to the um, gas and it's still getting that signal. So you just hit a hold, hold a button down, wait till it turns to red, then hold a button down, press the gas while the car's off, and then it'll turn blue or other way around. Um, but now let's check it out. So it's off. So press that. So there's different colors as you can see. So the one we're going to go into is red, which that's the performance one. They also have like purple, which is showing over here. Eco mode is when it's in white. Eco 2 is blue. Eco 3 is dark blue. Uh, low throttle is light green. Boost one yellow boost two purple and then high throttle is red so we're gonna go on the red there you go we're in red oh okay i can i don't know it might be placebo or something um i feel like initial response there was like a little little lag in things it's like as soon as i press on it it's giving me gas Okay. I'm not gonna say this makes your car fast, but it does have like more sensitivity to the pedal. I like it. So we're gonna go take it on the uh, highway, see how it feels. I'm not just in my neighborhood, just being rowdy. Wow. Feels good. Feels good. I like it. I really wish I filmed it, but when I left my neighborhood, there was like some like wet, like wet pavement. And like, I kind of slid, it felt pretty cool. Talked to Roshan, had to, had to find someone else if they could feel it. What are you? What's up? What's up, man? What are you, what are you logging? Nothing. Oh, nothing. So, I don't know if you can see it. Could you see it on the, from this side? What's that? I'm confused. What is it? Oh, wow. Oh, okay, oh. okay, gotcha. Yeah, like do that again. I, <laughs> do you feel it? I feel like it, yeah, throttle response. Okay. <laughs> now you're just not gonna let me talk. Alright. Is it uh, pedestrian worthy? What? Pedestrian worthy? Pedestrian. 
No, I think I can still control it. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Traction. So the camera died, guys. So Rashawn's gonna use my phone to judge. I guess it's kind of it's kind of touchy. It, it feels a bit different. Um, he started drifting today. He's a pro drifter now. Uh, so only when there's rain. Only when there's rain. Only when there's rain. <laughs> All right, you don't have to do that. Let's get it. Hand. It got squirrely, right? Yeah. <laughs> you trade cars for, for a day? Okay. Just for a day. You got like twice the amount. 